Hello, this is Python 3.3 in the Python shell. I'm going to open up a file called ymc, yo my class. And here it is, file, and then open. And let's go look for it. It's yo my class, yo my class, ymc. Here it is, right there. I click on open. It'll get very big. Ah, oh, <laughs> I didn't get very big. There we go. So, here's my, my file. Notice in my file I have, all the way down to the bottom, I only have one class. This boat class. I'm going to copy that entire class, like so. Copy and paste. So now I have two boat classes. Whoop, can't have that. I'm going to change boat to bike. And it's MB. It's going to be my bike. So I'll put my bike there. That would be nice if I spelled that correctly. My bike. Now, I'm going to have um, a print, not boat, but bike. Print bike function. Is there anything else I should change in here? No, there isn't. So now I have two classes, two classes in my YMC, you know, my class file. One for bikes, one for boats. My bike, and let's make this my boat. My boat. So boats and bikes. And I have function in here, whoop, method in here called print boat. Going down to bikes, I have a method in here called print bikes. How does the system keep track of these and and stop from making mistakes and going down to this class and grabbing its guys and distinguishing them from here, from this class? Well, let's find out. So I'm going to save this now. File and save. And dun, 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 dun. let's make one more change here uh, in my bike. Uh, let's get rid of model. There's no model here. It's just now year and make. And I'm going to come down to here where it says model. Get rid of that guy. And then I'm going to come over here to the print statement. And get rid of where it says self dot model. Very good. So now it looks like I'm done. I've got my bike, self dot year, self dot make, and it's going to print out only those two items year and make for bike. All right, everything is good now. I I believe. If not, we'll get errors and fix them. File save, and now I close this guy up. Well, let me minimize him, <laughs> just in case I need him soon. All right, uh, so I'm going to import in Python the name of that that class file, which is uh, yo my class dot py. Yo my class or yo my class dot py. What do you think I should do? Let's try ymc, and it worked. Well, I don't know if it worked yet. Let's find out why MC and then a, let's put in our dot now and see if boat and bike classes pop up. And there they are, bike and boat, bike and boat. It recognizes that there are two classes within this class file YMC. Okay, I want to do bike. All right, but I don't want to do it like this. I want to I want to make a variable and instantiate that bike into that variable. Uh, reference that instantiation by the variable name and new bike new bike equals uh, go to YMCA YMC not YMCA <laughs> YMC and grab the class definition and instantiate that object and put that and reference it by NBK. So there'll be a new object here and. Uh, 
I'm going to do a little picture there for you. Let me get my uh, paintbrush up here for one moment, though. And like this. So we'll have a uh, class definition here. And we got two class definitions, really. But we went to one of them, this guy here, the one called bike. And we told the system, listen, system, instantiate an object. Here we're saying, take YMC, instantiate an object, and reference that by NBK. So in telling it to take the bike class, and instantiate an object that I can work with. And let me make the instantiated object now, like that. So now I've got a, a real object that I can work with, and that's called NBK. 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 That's what I just did. And what does NBK have in it? It's got MDL. <laughs> no, not MDL. We got rid of that. It's got uh, uh, it's got year, and it's got make, and it's also got that function in there called print bike. I'll abbreviate. So I'm running out of room. Okay, that's all we've got right now. NBK equals YMC dot bike. I'm going to hit the enter key now, and that should do it. And it did. I should have um, two variables in there, make and Mike, uh, make and, uh, uh, well, let's go find out, nbk and a dot. And look at the names of the variables. Ah, look at this, we've got, oh, print bike. Huh. Okie dokie, what happened to a year? Oh, I made a terrible mistake. I made a terrible mistake. I should have said NBK equals YMC dot BIKE open parens and then I give it as you can see here year and make. I didn't do that. <laughs> it slipped my mind for a second. All right, so the year that I want to give it is 2000, uh, 2000 uh, I don't know, 14. That's a good year. And 2014. It's going to be a new bike, and it's the make will be Schwinn. Now let me put that within single quotes. Schwinn. Schwinn. Single quote. And then close parens. And enter. Now, when I do NBK and a dot, watch what happens. Now I get all three of them. It instantiated the object, and it made those two variables. See, before it couldn't do that. It couldn't do that because I didn't give it those two variables. That's why uh, year and make as variable names did not pop up when I did it like this. But you have to put in the variable name and then the class and then the, uh, the, the file name and then that you imported and then the class that's contained within that file and then hand it the parameters that it requires to instantiate the, the, uh, the object correctly. All right, so now I key an MBK and a dot, and there it is, make and year. Let's do uh, year first, and I hit enter, and I get 2014. Now let's do MBK dot um, make, tab twice, and I get Schwinn. Now let's do MBK dot, and the name of that is print bike. Tab twice. Now, this one requires open and close parens. And I hit enter. Oh! What happened? Uh, File.ymcpy19 format self dot here. Ah, take a look here. One and two, and there is an extra parens here. Wow, let's take a look at our guy. Is that right? Self dot year, self dot make, 
Uh, well, okay, that's fine. Hold on just one second. Let's go down to the correct class. It's def, uh, uh, here is correct. This is correct. Now it's here's where we had the problem, print bike. And in print bike, we specify, oh, look at this. Look at my error. I, the reference to the third variable is still here. I forgot to take that out. That's where the problem is. Let's delete that. Whoops, my bad. <laughs> that happens all the time. And do we have the extra brands in there? Yes, we do. Oh, okay, everything looks good now. Um, let's save this. File. And save. Minimize it. I may need it again. And let's restart this thing again. Shell. And restart the shell. And let's import YMC. And I'm going to new, new bike object. I'm going to make that equal to YMC dot. And it's going to be bike, not boat. Tab twice, open parens. The year will be, the year in make will be what? It'll be um, 2014. 20, dun, 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 20, 14, comma, and Schwinn, Schwinn, ha, ha. Schwinn, and now I've instantiated my object, and I refer to it as NBK, NBK dot, now I should see, should see all three of those guys I do, make, year, and print bike, good, let's check them all out again. Let's go down to year, tab, tab, enter, it's 2014. Good. NBK dot MDL model. Whoa. Try that again. MD, NBK dot. And up it comes. We did make. Uh, no, there is no model I was thinking make. Uh, make is, <laughs> we get rid of model. And hit enter, and Schwinn. Okay, so we got 2014, and we got Schwinn. That works. Now let's see if our function works. NBK, da. And there's print break. Tab over. Open, close, parens. Cross our fingers. Let's see if this works. And it does. 2014, Schwinn. So what did we do? We, uh, we we copied the uh, we copied this class object down to here, renamed it, took out one of the the variables in the list, got rid of its reference here, went to the print bike function and forgot to take out the reference here. We took out the reference here in format in the format part of the statement, but we didn't take out the reference here in the print part of the statement and we got an error. We went back, corrected that, and we came to this thing here. And that's pretty much what we did here. Not bad, I think. So you can uh, you can access these uh, cl you can put multiple of the multiple classes within these uh, files and you can reference them individually and they don't get confused and uh, because over here, when you instantiate the object, you reference that particular class name specifically, like so. If I wanted to do the boat, I would have referenced the boat here. Um, but I would have given it three parameters rather than two. Good? Okay. That's about all I have to say for now. This is uh, George Ball saying bye-bye.